Hello everybody, aspiring writers and those that are already published writers. Today we're going to take a look at how to split and merge documents within Scrivener. <clears throat> it's one of the greatest features about Scrivener is that it allows you to so easily split documents or merge them so that you can move them around anywhere you want to within your project. I'm Deborah L. Butterfield, the motivational editor. Let's dive right in and see how this is done. We're going to take a look at how to first split a document. What I have done here is bring in a story in its entirety into a new Scrivener project. I did not split this at all when I brought it in. So the whole story is in one document. We're going to take a look at several different ways to do this. As you can see, my cursor is flashing at chapter two. This is the first place I want to split my document. Now I can come up here to documents and down to split. And you'll notice that the split with selection as title is grayed out. This is not an option right now. Or I can select, I can simply click um, at selection. And what that's going to do is then split that document. Now over here in the left, you'll see that it created that document. It gave it an, an immediate title, which corresponds to what's up here rather than giving it chapter two. I'm not gonna bother changing that. Let's scroll down, here's chapter three. Now here's a second way we can do this. We can actually select that, come up here to documents, and now you will notice that split with selection as title is selected. You will also notice out here to the side are the keyboard shortcuts. If this is something you do on a pretty regular basis, it's nice to learn those keyboard shortcuts and you know avoid the moving the mouse around, clicking and selecting. Just do those keyboard shortcuts. Now you will notice because I had something selected, when I clicked on the split, it actually gave that document the title of the words I had highlighted. Let's scroll on down here to chapter four. Now I'm a person, I do love those keyboard shortcuts. That is one that I will probably not remember. I don't split my documents very often because I rarely bring documents into Scrivener anymore. I just start out there to begin with. However, uh, we're doing this for learning purposes. You can also select and right click your mouse and you will come up with the same choices. If you have not selected but simply placed your cursor, then again that split with selection as title is not available when you just have the one option. Now we can go through here and split this wherever we want. Let's say that I wanted to split the scenes. And chapter three looks pretty short. It looks like it's basically just one scene. Chapter four, yeah, chapter four is a little bit longer. And I notice that here there is extra space, which to me would indicate that within the Word document, there was a scene change right there. A change in time frame or or a change in point of view, whatever the case may be. So what I'm going to do, I've put my cursor here. I'm going to split this right here because I actually want to split my document into scenes so that I can move those scenes around. I've decided that they're in the wrong place. So with that same selection point, I'm going to click on split at selection. Now it has split it right there. It's given a chapter 3-1 title for that. And I have everything from that point on is there. 
let's split this right here. Now we'll go back to this chapter 3-1 and you can see that all this is is that last scene from chapter 3. That's how easy it is to split your documents. Okay, so now let's say, oops, I decided I didn't want it split. I want to merge those back together. So what I have to do is choose the documents that I want to merge. You can do that by selecting the one, hold down your control key if you want to merge it with a document that is not contiguous. You can hold down the shift key and select. Now we want to come up here to documents and come down to merge. It merges those two documents back together again and you will see that it's all there again. Was it chapter three? So if we merge those, now we have three, four, there's chapter five. There's all those chapters all together again in one file. That is split and merge, writers. It's not difficult, it's wonderful, and if you're just starting with Scrivener, it's not complicated. Terrific way to bring your story in and split it apart, get started on actually looking at the structure of your story, moving things around if you need to move things around, move an entire folder full of items if you need to. That is the wonderful aspect of Scrivener in that it gives you so much more flexibility than Word. Thanks for being with me. I'm Deborah L. Butterfield. If you've liked what you've seen here today, please hit the like button and also hit subscribe to get notifications for when I upload a new video. Visit my website, DebraLButterfield.com, and Deborah is spelled D-E-B-R-A. Have a great day.